Well, thanks to a dead battery, a bunch of other chores I needed to get done, we're on another day. Already got a fire going. That there is one of the projects I worked on yesterday. I made a trammel for my outdoor cooking tripod, which is out there in three pieces. I actually painted those with some stove paint. This is so you can adjust your pot. I've got 12 inches of travel there in that at two inch increments. So you just put that where in the heck you want it. Adjust your pot right down to the fire if you want. It comes time to eat the beans. Pull them up in the air and keep them warm. Here's where we left off. We, we made that piece there for the drip catching pan. Then I got a piece of one inch steel tube scrap laying in my pile of scrap over there. Underneath my Dewalt cutoff saw that we're going to make the cup out of. So let's let's get busy here. You can do this with a piece of wood. Haul it out. Then of course you have to throw it on the floor. Oh, well, there you go. That's cupped about enough. Now flatten it out a little bit on the end. We'll screw it up a little bit. I think that'll work. Looks pretty good to me. Now let's work on the cup. Get out my good hammer. My favorite hammer is the one I made. Who'd have thunk it? Real gentle like. We want to flatten that out on the end. So that we can blur it. I'll get a pair of pliers so I can grab that tube on the round. Get my ball peen hammer back out. So 
So we can clear that out a little bit. Bring you back over to the face of the anvil. Flare that out a little bit. And then start rolling it around. Better get another heat. That's a lot better. Cleaned up right nice. And we'll let that cool off a little bit. We'll cut it off the length. Now I'm going to attempt <coughs> to cut this off straight. I said attempt because I usually don't get it done. Usually I have to get the grinder out, clean it up a little bit. Try to put a mark around there to follow. Get off about about right there. That gives me a mark so I know when I do have it crooked. Anyways. I bet that's warm. <coughs> yep. So. Yeah. It's not perfectly straight, but it's close. Now I have not yet figured out a way to attach this cup to the drip pan traditionally. So I am doing it non-traditionally. No, I got that as clean as I could with a wire brush. Got my welder turned up all the way so I can get some good spots. Good 
ground. I believe she's stuck on there. Boy, yes it is. Four good tacks on that ought to hold a uh, little bitty six inch candle. Just fine. Now, to get the piece out that we made yesterday, now this piece here, you can see that shiny spot right there in the middle. You can traditionally fasten this piece with a rivet. But seeing as how I always already got Mr. Lincoln out, I'm just going to plug weld that right there where that hole is to that handle. Now I've got... Uh, I cleaned that off with a grinder a little bit so it'll stick to it real good. We'll see what we can get done with that. Like I said, I got, got my welder cranked up all the way so that it's, it's real good penetration real quick. Did you set up there? Taking gloves out. Hold that right there. Baby's on there. Just like that, we've got a can loader. Now, we'll uh, heat it all up in a good clean fire, get my beeswax out, give it a good coating of beeswax. How about you say that? Neighbor lady has some bees. She's also a gardener, so I traded her one of my homemade garden trowels for some beeswax. Just a little bit more heat. And there we go. One genuine candle holder. <laughs>